lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the Harfel Tarot guys um, if you guys are new to the channel I just want to uh, welcome you here to my returning subscribers like always I just want to thank you so much for your continued support missed you guys missed doing these readings for you it's a pleasure to make videos for you again and also I have this pick a card reading for you where we are going to check uh, how your person is truly feeling about you we'll see what's going on with them with this connection we'll check their next move towards you uh, what do they want from you or what they want to tell you here so yeah keep in mind this is going to be a general reading might not resonate with all of you here just take whatever does leave the rest of course and you if you want to follow me on instagram you will have the link down below in the description also don't forget to like and subscribe uh, subscribe guys and yeah for pile number one we have this image here with the clear quartz crystal for the pile number two we have this image here with the amethyst crystal and for pile number three we have this image here with the red jasper crystal guys so take a moment see which crystal or image draws to you the most and i'll see you in a second Hey there, my pile number one. So, if you've been drawn to this uh, image here or to this uh, clear quartz crystal, let's uh, see what this person truly wants at this moment for you here, my pile number one. You have the message here. Interesting. Um, I'm getting with this card here that this person that you're asking about, um, they're on this verge of reaching out to you here is what I'm getting. This person is driven by this strong desire to communicate something that's going to be very heartfelt to you here. Um, and I feel like this is not going to be just a message here. It's going to be something that's filled with emotions here with all this ocean or water here. Um, maybe reflection possible. They want to confess their... Uh, uh, feelings for you or whatever they've been holding back from you here I feel like this person just wants to reach out here um, with this uh, bottle floating in this vast ocean and carrying this uh, note I feel like it contains this person their deepest secrets here uh, their deepest desires that they have for you here um, I feel like this person uh, it's in this state of contemplation at the moment uh, they could be feeling for some of you the um, weight of their uh, emotions and the urgency to just share them with you here is what i'm getting for some of you uh, i feel like this person is just captivated by your presence here with this card um, they feel this magnetic pull that just compels them to bridge the distance that have been formed between you and them here there is this sense of longing coming from this po uh, person. For, uh, it's a sense of unspoken uh, feelings here, understanding that only the communication uh, can bring clarity and closeness between you and them here. Uh, maybe for some of you, this person have realized that, um, I don't know, something profound about their feelings for you here. Something that they need to express in order to move this connection forward or in order for both of you to have that closeness and move forward on separate roads here. Um, I feel like the message here, it's about admitting their feelings, maybe for some of you, a desire to reconciliate for others of you, a need to clarify maybe misunderstandings as well is what I'm getting. It's like... Aladdin with sincerity and the hope of this positive uh, reception from your side here. I'm getting that this person wants to be transparent, honest. Um, they want to break through any barriers that might have been built by the silence or miscommunication between you and them. For others of you, this could be even a secret admirer that just want to... Um, let you know how they feel here either way i feel like you'll receive this heartfelt text that will light up your phone for some of you um or maybe a handwritten letter just going to arrive unexpectedly for others of you here or this spon uh, spontaneous conversation that uh, reveals the depths of this person feelings for you here so yeah let's let's see my pile number one here 
what's going on in this connection how is this person truly feeling about pile number one here the person on their mind gossip petty jealousy envy anything else here how they're feeling about this searching online looking for info records and uh, you also have love box sos closed in trapped frustrated okay at the bottom of the deck i'll take it out you have um wow well, underneath it you have divine masculine as well and you have the secret lover here the relationship will be kept secret here just be sure that this decision is okay for both of you it's not that one-sided so what i'm getting here maybe this person for some of it's scared of uh people are speaking up about this connect uh, this connection of you and them maybe their friends their family is not agreeing with this connection for 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 on the clock um maybe uh, this person i see them looking uh, for some sort of information here uh, regarding you here there they might be even stalking your profile here um, maybe this person here they're closed in maybe they're feeling that you're you're not uh going to reciprocate the feelings maybe they're feeling that it's going to be like one-sided connection for some of you could be that they might be feeling frustrated for not being able to let you know how they truly feel about it especially if you're dealing with a secret lover here someone um this for some of you i'm also getting that this person wants to keep this connection hidden from others they're afraid of gossip here they're afraid of what people will think what people will say when they will find out that you and this person um, are an item here is what i'm getting so this is what's going on with this person here is uh, what i'm getting let's see how they truly feel about you here so you have wow the two of cups here and actually wait i don't want to i'm gonna move them aside for now so we have room for the tarot deck so you have the two of cups ten of cups like this is how they truly feel about you here with the two of cups they definitely i see this person that could be in love with you could be that you're making this person very happy very they're very drawn to you here um they might be even in love with you i see them being very romantic i'm getting here that this person um I don't know, uh, with the two of cups, ten of cups, with the message from earlier that we received that I feel like it signifies this powerful bond, a union that is meant to bring uh, two souls closer here in harmony and love here. So this is card of the two of cups is that card of uh, partnership, mutual attraction here that this person needs feeling towards you and I feel like you're feeling towards them the same. Uh, with the two of cups here like you both want to pour into each other's cup here is what i'm getting will be um you might be dealing with a leo for some of you maybe you are a leo maybe you're dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio as well is what i'm getting a heavy water sign so this person could have some water placement in their chart here but um Uh, they want to share their emotions with you here i feel like this two of cups just reveals this deep and intimate connection that this person is feeling towards you pile number one i feel like this connection is more than just a fleeting moment that this person wants and feels towards you here this person isn't just thinking about uh, sending you a message here i feel like they're envisioning a future where uh, both of you stand together you're sharing your lives and your hearts together here um, we have this image here of these two people that exchange in cups that symbolizes the exchange of feelings between you and this person uh, the merging of energies here and the beginning of this beautiful partnership that this person wants and envisions here with you 
could be that uh, for some of you this person could have blonde hair maybe you guys have I'm seeing brown or green eyes here as well for others of you but um, yeah I feel like this person is driven by this genuine desire that they have for you this genuine desire for closeness between you and them for intimacy that they're wanting and desiring from you here uh, I feel like this person sees you as their equal, someone who just contemplates their and uh, con complements um, their energy here, and uh, someone who can they can build this uh, uh, meaningful relationship with is what I'm getting. Uh, the emotions I feel like this person's um, are feeling towards you are not superficial here with these two of cups. I feel like this person have this profound and uh, indicative of this true connection that they want to nurture and grow here i don't know for some of you maybe this person is dreaming of uh, having an encounter that goes beyond words here with you i feel like they're imagining or daydreaming about this intimate meeting with you where both of you can express your feelings maybe openly here maybe that's why they're frustrated uh, because they need to stay closed in like they they are not opening their uh, feelings towards you here they are not opening up just yet is what I'm getting could be that um, they are a bit jealous of you especially if they are um, on your social media and they are seeing other people commenting on your pictures leaving likes I feel like this is someone that is very jealous very possessive of you is what I'm getting for others of you could be with the two of cups ten of cups the secret lover here could be that this person could be involved or have another have a family here already they could be in a relationship already with this ten of cups here but in the same time they fell in love with you as well is what i'm getting maybe that's why they want to keep it secret here just take whatever resonates guys uh but um I am seeing that this person wants to have this romantic date with you here. They want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversations um, or just this simple or in profound moment of shared silence. Everything just, just to be with you here. This person is crazy in love with you is what I'm getting here, my pile number one. Uh, they yearn to have this connection that just speaks volumes without needing many words I'm getting as well. Yeah, they just want to come in unity here. They could be your soulmate here that you're dealing with, uh, maybe a twin flame for some of you. But they see you as being the one here with the two of cups, ten of cups for um, you, my pile number one. I don't know, I feel like this person has the, this warm gaze into their eyes here when they're looking at you. They, they, you can sense I'm getting their sincerity in their voice. And um, I don't know, you just understand this person on another level is what I'm getting. Both of you can just understand each other from your look, uh, by looking at one another, by the gestures here by subtle things is what I'm getting for you here. I don't know, I feel like this person just wants to make you feel cherished, understood, loved here. I'm getting that, yeah, they could be in love with you here for some of you and they longing to confess their feelings and hoping for this mutual connection here. They hope that is not si uh, one-sided maybe maybe that's why they kept their uh, for some of you their feelings secret here they might be your secret admirer here is what i'm getting maybe this is someone that has a crush on you here and they might be afraid that or they were afraid in the per, in the past that if they will come and open up with their feelings and let you know how they truly feel about you here that you are not gonna reciprocate these feelings here 
so yeah they want to have this um, reciprocal acknowledgement from you is what i'm getting here i feel like this person really needs to confess their feelings here yeah i feel like it could be for some of you it's what i'm getting this uh, spontaneous maybe uh declaration of love that this person is going to do maybe uh for others of you could be that this person is carefully planning to have this romantic gesture uh romantic date here maybe or maybe for others of you could be that this simple yet more very powerful moment that is going to cement your bond here between you, you and this person is what I'm getting. I don't know, this person, you're just adding, I feel like, a lot of excitement into their life here. Um, you're adding a lot of thrill to this person's life for some reasons is what I'm getting from this energy. So, yeah, um, they will come in and just take you by surprise is what I'm getting here with the two of cups, the message card. As I said, I'm still getting that for some of you, this person could be afraid also with the gossip and uh, the ten of cups that um, they're afraid of what their family might think of this connection or they say about this connection or maybe they could be that... Uh, what people might think about your connection, especially uh, here looking for records online, could be that uh, maybe this person found something about you online and they are afraid that people are going to gossip when uh, if they will, they will find out that you guys are uh, in this connection with one another, you're making public this connection here. They have some fears here. It could be that they might be afraid that your friends or their friends are not approving of this connection. Could be others involved here is what I'm getting. But um, yeah, with this uh, Ten of Cups though, this is like, uh, represents that ideal happy ever after that uh, happiness that loving relationship and joyful of the home life here is what i'm getting i feel like this card just adds a layer of depth to the previous messages uh, how this person is truly feeling about you here tells me that your person sees a future of this complete happiness and fulfillment with you my pal number one I'm also getting that for some of you, this person could actually envisioning themselves uh, living together with you here. Maybe they are, they want to have uh, kids with you. Maybe if you know this person, who they are, maybe at some point you joked about uh, having a boy and a girl here for some of you. But um, they want to have this emotional satisfaction and familial bliss with you here pile number one tells me that this person doesn't just want this fleeting romance again or casual connections they envision a future with you that uh, includes this happy home this mutual love this emotional fulfillment here i feel like this person sees you as someone that they can build a life with um, someone who just completes their vision of happiness I'm getting. I'm getting also with the Ten of Cups here that this person's feelings are very deep for you here. Very sincere as well. Um, I feel like this person has this desire to have this uh, or to create this life together with you. This harmonious life that is filled with love is what I'm getting here. Or a relationship that is filled with love. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, you're bringing this person a lot of this emotional fulfillment. Uh, I feel like you're someone who just brings them immense happiness and satisfaction as well with the Ten of Cups here. Um, I'm also getting that this person could be envisioning or thinking of a life with you where you share not only these romantic moments but also the everyday joys of loving partnership. Um, this could, uh, I don't know, include this um, a home filled with laughter here could be. 
um, maybe the warmth of shared experiences, possible even of family, as I said. They want to be your partner in all aspects of the life of your life. Here is what I'm getting, and they want to stand by your side through the thick and thin. Is what I'm hearing from this person. I, I see that this person wants to have this blissful future with you. This is how they're feeling towards you here, my pile number one. Uh, they imagine a life where you wake up every day knowing that you're loved and cherished here uh, by this person. I feel like that's how this person envisioning a relationship with you to be like. They want to build these beautiful moments here with you is what I'm getting as well. Uh, where you create this sanctuary of love and joy. Um, they see you as their forever person with the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups here, that's for sure. They see you as being the one, someone they want to share their every aspect of their life with here. So, yeah, I feel like um, you'll f this person has this kind, all kind of emotional fulfillment and happiness here that they're feeling towards you. I feel like their dreams um, are of and being of this happy home loving partnership. Um, I don't know. You're just making this person feel so happy is what I'm getting. They could be even having um, I don't know a smile that's um, just, I don't know, you might be in love with their smile or they might be in love with your smile, the way you're smiling or this person smiles. It's something, uh, I don't know, that just uh, takes your breath away or your your smile is taking this person's breath away when they see you smiling. That's what they makes them happy here. But yeah, let's see what's the next move towards you here, pile number one. Wow, nine of cups. Wow. Pile number one, who you're dealing with here? Okay, you also have the Ten of Wands, the Strength card. The Page of Swords and the oops, King of Pentacles as well. So... I feel like this person is trying to find the courage to reach out to you here. Like this, their feelings that whatever, I don't know, these emotions that they're feeling, their feelings towards you. Uh, I feel like it's too much for them with the Ten of Wands. They feel like they're carrying a heavy load on their back here. Uh, they want to take action towards you here. I see them coming towards you with some sort of uh, communication with the page of swords for sure they with the king of pentacles they want to offer you that stable connection stability here you could be dealing with a leo for some of you uh, could be an um a Taurus or a Capricorn here, um, even a Virgo is what I'm getting, could be Aquarius as well, Libra, Gemini, could be for others of you, a Sagittarius, uh, Aries or um, Leo again. But yeah, this person I'm getting that they are trying to find the courage to come towards you. Why? Because they, you're just hitting all the boxes on their checklist here like when it comes to how they envision their life with someone how they envision their perfect partner with the nine of cups i feel like you're the one um you just have everything this person ever wished for and wanted here Again, with the page of, page of Swords, I'm feeling uh, that this person could be watching you online. They could be watching your profile. They're curious to see what you're doing, where you're, who you're spending your time with. As I said, I feel like this person, uh, they're getting jealous here. They could be a bit envious when you're spending your time with your friends, going and posting about it. Um, they are, if they're seeing that people are commenting on your pictures, they get frustrated. They get jealous again. Uh, here 
but yeah this nine of cups is usually refer refer that's the wish card here so this could be a wish coming through for you maybe this could be a wish coming through for this person meeting you having you in their life being with you again i'm sensing that their next step is to date you to take you out on romantic dinners here uh, to spoil you in luxury for some of you to uh, offer you some sort of gifts here is what I'm getting um, Also represents again contentment satisfaction that this person is feeling here uh, The realization of dreams here So this tells me that this person is ready to express their feelings towards you here um, just I feel like this empathizes how much happiness and joy you're just bringing into this person's life here um, I feel like this person at the moment that you're asking about my pile number one, it's experiencing this profound sense of happiness, emotional fulfillment when they think of you. Uh, they're on the brink of expressing their emotions. They're eager to let you know how deeply you just make them feel here. I feel like this card is just a, tes a testament of this person, contentment and the joy you just bring into their life here, to be honest. Um, I'm also getting here for some of you that this person just have this desire to share their happiness with you here. Uh, they feel this sense of emotional completeness. They want you to know that you're the source of their joy here. Um, they are motivated by this heartfelt wish, I feel like, to deepen the connection and just to let you know how much you mean to this person here as well. So just expect from this person with the Nine of Cups, to be honest, this heartfelt declaration of their feelings here. This could come in a form of sincere conversation, as I said, a thoughtful gesture, and I'm getting romantic uh, dinners here for majority of you. I'm getting that uh, um, this person could even, uh, with the Nine of Cups, the King of Pentacles, that they want to gift you something here, something uh, that is going to be very meaningful here could be this romantic surprise is what I'm getting that this person the next action towards is going to be here I feel like they, they're just ready to open up and share their emotions and they want to make it clear that you are here the integral part of their happiness here and they are so grateful I feel like for having you into their life for meeting you for having I don't know they just want to have this soul union with you like there, there is a sense of destiny between you and this person here um i feel like um they will bring this very warmful a uh, warmth uh, con confession here you'll feel their sincerity in their voice i feel like when this person is going to confess to you here uh, you'll feel it, in, well, see it into their eyes that they are sincere, that they really mean all of this here. Um, but yeah, this card just tells me that they have this genuine appreciation for who you are and what you're bringing to this personal life here. Um, now with this uh, ten of wands here, though, oh my God, uh, poor, uh, poor, <laughs> poor soul here. I feel like they cannot take it anymore. You, the way they're feeling about you, not being able to express uh, their love until now. I feel like it's been burdening this person so much here. Um, I feel like they've been carrying their emotions for quite a, lo a lot, a long time here for some of you. Uh, but this represents a burden of their emotions and responsibilities maybe that are becoming very increase, uh, increasingly and very difficult to bear for them here. Um, it tells me that this person is struggling to keep their feelings for you under wraps here at the moment their passion and desire for you i feel like is just overwhelming this person and they can no longer hold back here anymore um i feel like uh, this ten of 
ones here just reveals a sense of emotional overload, uh, overload sorry, uh, and the immense effort that this person is just putting into containing their feelings with the uh, strength card and the ten of wands as well here for some of you. Um, I feel like this person is really burdened by this powerful passion and desire they have for you and they find it like impossible to just suppress it at the moment here they are going through these internal struggles and is driving this person to the brink here like they're going crazy over this and i feel like it's making it increasingly difficult for this person to even maintain their composure here uh, i feel like this person is driven by this burning passion and is intense desire to be with you here i am getting that their feeling have the feelings have reached this boiling point with you here um, they can no longer contain the emotional load they are carrying here like this the weight of this emotion is just pushing this person towards a point where they must act and find relief and satisfaction here as well so their next move here with the ten of wands tells me that um they are going to reach out um their next move i feel like for some of it's going to be very bold and this passionate declaration here you won't even expect it it's going to take you by surprise here um they might even reach out in a way that's dramatic and intense i'm getting for some of you driven by the need to release the emotional burden they've been carrying here uh, this could be an unexpected confession, spontaneous uh, romantic gesture, intense conversation that they are going to lay their feelings for you in the line. Here is what I'm getting here. Um... I feel like, yeah, again, with this Ten of Wands, this, again, confirmation message for you, pile number one, that this person's feelings are, like, um, far from casual. They're deep, intense, and filled with longing for you. Here is what I'm getting. Um, they have this fervor in uh, that which they want to express their feelings. The raw honesty here I'm getting the passionate energy they bring into this encounter with you here it's like way 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 too much for this person but yeah with this leo card here this speaks of courage here inner strength the power of gentle persuasion as well here is what i'm getting so this tells me that your person is just gathering at the moment the courage to uh, confess their feelings for you here they're trying to draw their strength here from their emotions with the ten of wands to just um come towards you here and let you know that they've been having these feelings for you here that they might be in love with you they've been having this crush on you for a while here is what i'm getting um that they've been fantasizing about you here is what i'm getting as well so um, i feel with this strength card this just reveals that profound inner battle battle that this person is going through here in order to cultivate the courage within themselves uh, they're trying to harness their inner, inner strength to come forward and express their feelings i feel like your presence could also give this person courage here and they are constantly thinking about you. I feel like you're a lot on this person's mind here. Um, I feel like you're uh, the reason that uh, this person is going to find the motivation to just overcome their fears here. Uh, I've, I'm getting that this person is no longer going to be uh, staying in the shadows here. They, on, they are not going to watch you from afar. Uh, stalk your social profile any like without thinking any action i feel like this person is ready to come and just let it all out here put it all on the table for you so you know what you're dealing with here but um, yeah i feel like um, 
this person has this desire to be close to you and to be honest about their emotions here with the strength card they feel this immense sense of admiration maybe for some of you and respect as well uh, i feel like the these feelings are fueled uh, fueling, fueling oh my god fuel i can't say the word wait oh yeah fueling their uh, um was uh, determination here to finally take that bold step towards you here the love they feel for you i feel like it's not only passionate but very over very empowering for this person here so the next move will be one of this heartfelt courage uh, for the love they have for you for the admiration they have for you for um the passion and desire they have to be with you here i feel like they're preparing to approach you with sincerity and strength ready to face their fears to their oh no okay sorry for that my battery died i didn't realize i didn't charge the camera apologize for that for leaving you in the dark here my pile number one but um uh, yeah as i was saying this person just wants to be vulnerable here with you with the strength are here um, now with this uh, page of swords though um, they're very curious about you this um, it's a desire for having this clear communication with you again this could be maybe an age gap between you and this person because we have here the page of swords and the king of pentacles so could be for some of you an age gap doesn't have to be but um this tells me that this person has been keeping a close eye on you here they've been observing you from afar and i feel like they're preparing uh, to reach out with clarity and honesty here this uh, tells me that um, they're very intensely curious about you here they've been watching you i feel like very very closely and they're trying to maybe understand you better here to gather some sort of courage maybe to make their move here um but yeah this card just simply tells me that this person will reach out to you here uh soon and um i'm getting that this person will be very direct in their communication with you um they will make it clear that they desire to be with you they have strong feelings towards you here is what i'm getting now with this uh, king of pentacles here could be someone that's um, financially stable here that you're dealing with this tells me that they could be a businessman or a businesswoman but i'm getting that either the gender i'm getting that you're dealing with a strong divine masculine here with the king of pentacles here um they are someone that you can depend on like they're very in depth independable as well i feel like um they're um they have this provider mind mindset here they um they are someone that they are independent in they um they're financially independent as well is what i'm getting and i feel like their uh, next move is going to be uh, influenced by their desire to create a secure and prosperous uh, future together with you is what i'm getting here i'm getting that this person is not only emotionally mature but also financially stable here as i was saying possible that they could be owning their own business or holding a significant position that just uh, is going to allow this person to provide for you here um i feel like could be that this person approach uh, to you is marked by this desire to build a lasting and um stable long-term relationship with you here i feel like this person is driven by the need to offer you a life of stability and comfort for some of you so they i feel like this person could take even pride in their ability to provide and protect you here and they want to ensure that you feel secure and cherished as well I feel like they have this practical approach to love um, here that is very balanced with this uh, deep sense of commitment and responsibility here. Um, they are very mature, very serious is what I'm getting here. 
but yeah i feel like uh, their next action is going to be characterized by these tangible actions practical steps that are going uh, to be towards building a stable future with you here so expect some sort of gestures from this person that will uh, demonstrate their uh, capability as well to provide uh, such as making the long-term plans with you discussing maybe the future goals here with you or even offering financial security for some other of, of you here they might even invite you to their uh, life more fully here they might even invite you to their home here for some of you here they want to introduce you here the next step is to introduce you to their family to their friends now maybe there if they had a, a fear about it or in the current energy they are having a fear about it i feel like this person is trying to overcome that fear with the strength card and the ten of wands here and to just introduce you to uh, their uh, closed ones here to the loved ones is what i'm getting for you here but yeah they want to show you their world and the stability they can offer as well is what i'm getting here for you pile number one again at the bottom of the deck you have this wheel of fortune this speaks of destiny um the divine timing here so this person will definitely come into your life and change your life heal completely 180 degrees what i'm getting uh i don't know who this person is but i i love this energy to be honest it was um such an amazing reading but yeah let's see what they uh, wish they could tell you here before we wrap this reading up for you guys because i've been extended so much i wanted to make it short but i always end up making so long here waiting are we, what are we waiting for let's do this so again as i said this person is feeling that urge to come towards you here let you know how they feel they can't hold it any longer here <laughs> they're like okay let's do this ah, let's let's rush in options i do like you a lot and a lot of others people too maybe um for some of you this person could as i said could be in a family already have a relationship with someone else but they also like you as well uh and they want to be their mistress maybe is what i'm getting here it's specific not for everyone here what else they want to tell you here conversation here so again that conversation it's going to come uh, from this person here and they want you to know that uh, they could talk to you for hours and hours here and one more message it, it it is not easy to be around you yeah i told you this person like it's you're driving them crazy they are trying their base to contain and um to hold their feelings back here for you towards you but it's not really easy for this person to do so they cannot longer wait here any longer is what i'm getting and at the bottom of the deck you have afraid if i if i tell you how i feel it might change everything so but this person could have again fears here related to what others might think maybe they are um, being envious then maybe they think that you have options here and you might like them but you also like others as well is what i'm getting here they're a bit frustrated um so yeah but definitely you're dealing with someone here that um they're very attracted to you and they have lots of deep emotions here and um yeah their their feelings are genuine here anyway this was your reading my pile number one if this resonated with you if you want to claim this energy please do it in the comments down below please like the video and uh yeah maybe share with someone that might like this kind of readings i don't know or just consider subscribing to the channel thank you guys again so much and i'll see you next time bye hey there my pile number two if you guys been drawn to this image here or to this amethyst crystal this is going to be your message regarding the person on your mind here so i hope um, 
you're uh, going to think about the person you want to hear about their true feelings their next action what they want to tell you what's their intentions here so let's see what you have here you have difficult truth here so hmm. this card tells me that there is something significant and challenging uh, that this person uh, finds hard to express for some of you here uh, could be a truth where they are struggling to share with you or um, maybe a realization that is difficult for you to hear uh, with this card is what I'm getting I'm getting that this card just points to a pivotal moment here uh, regarding your connection with this person here where honesty is going to be essential but some sort of challenging as well here is what I'm getting um I feel like this person you're asking or want to know about here, my pal too, they're wrestling with the truth that is hard to articulate here. I'm getting that this truth is um, a vital part of their feelings and the dynamic between the two of you here. Uh, but I feel like it's shrouded in complexity, maybe emotional difficulty here as well that this person is going through. But uh, this person, I feel like it's driven by the need to tell you some sort of truth here regarding that you need to hear it. Maybe uh, they own it to you here for some of you. Um, maybe it could be that for some of you, there could be that... Um, this truth might be involved this, this person's feelings here or about the relationship maybe it could be for some of you a past experience or a current situation that this person is going through here at the moment that just impacts their emotions and actions uh, could be something that has been weighing on their mind here for a while here uh, I don't know we'll see what's the message for you here my pile number two so let's see for pile number two what's going on here what's happening with this person here oh my God, i wasn't able to shuffle them properly so for pile number two what's going on here what's happening So, oops, you have here new beginnings. I'm ready to start again. There is a new love or reconciliation that you're attracting into your life here. So this person wants to have maybe some sort of new beginning. Uh, you might be dealing for some of you with your divine masculine here. Let's see what other uh, secret lover. Okay. Uh, this relationship will be kept a secret just to be sure that this decision is uh, okay for both of you and not one-sided here. So go with the secret lover could be that this person will want to keep the relationship secret. Maybe uh, ad if it's someone that you've been with here, uh, this relationship, uh, I feel like this person kept it secret from everyone here as well. Uh, maybe it was not what you wanted uh, with this person here but yet you had to comply here it was a bit one-sided um could be for others of you that this is someone that it's secret in love with you is what i'm getting here with the secret lover and they are keeping their feelings a secret from you here at the moment um uh, also love affair dirty little secret a secret down low so could be that's why for some of you this person wanted to keep this uh, uh relationship with you secret or wants to um, if you're manifesting if you're single and you're manifesting something out here uh, with someone could be that it's going to be a love affair here like this person wants you to be their dirty little secret here they don't want um, their spouse their other partner to find out about here uh, could be a reconciliation with someone that um, 
you had the love affair for some of you and also you have letting go right now the most loving thing you can do is to let me go so maybe this is what you're wishing or wanting from this relationship here uh, could be or being difficult for you guys to um, just come to this realization it was something very difficult a difficult truth for you to find out about this person maybe um, lover or uh, their other relationship here maybe this person wants to come in and let you know about what happened here in the past with this love affair here uh, maybe they kept it secret for uh, for some of you here you could even uh, have two people here a new lover a new beginning into your life someone totally new and uh, this past person that um, put you in a third party situation here and also you have at the bottom projected future days weeks months so this is uh, when could this happen for you here but um, let's see what else what's uh, going on here what's happening with this person what's uh, their true feelings towards you here you have the high priestess definitely this person kept some secrets you could have been dealing or dealt with a cancer here or you're asking about one or maybe that's your zodiacal sign here too many cards so what else how is this person feeling for pile two nine of swords so this secret that they've been kept kept away from you it's making this person feel uh, some sort of mental anguish here with the king of swords uh, i feel like this person could have been a bit ruthless when they were with you here uh, i don't know they just they were being being called here they were uh, not someone that will show to you a lot of affection is what i'm getting they were not the type to be very romantic um i don't know this person was more logical more in their head here is what i'm getting but yeah what i'm seeing here for some of you with the high priestess it could be that you I'm gonna be honest for some of you it's i'm seeing that uh, this person that maybe you're f seeing as being your divine masculine here they're stuck in another relationship at the moment and this person i feel like they don't maybe or maybe they don't really uh rip prosecrate their feelings like uh, maybe it's time for you to move on and you could be with this uh, high priestess here intuitively knew that or know that um, I'm getting that this nine of swords could be you that losing your sleep over this person here over this situation here but I don't feel like for some of you that this person is actually having genuine feelings towards you here um but specific message of course but now with this high priestess here this speaks of mystery intuition hidden knowledge here tells me that this person might be keeping secrets from you here with the difficult truth uh, definitely i see them keeping something hidden from you here pile two could be their feelings maybe for some of you another relationship here or simply some aspects of their life here they might also perceive you as being someone that's very mysterious here um or find you some out uh, somewhat uh, closed off here like they don't have ex any access to you here um but the high priestess i feel like they see you as the essence of mystery and hidden depths here this person could find difficult to reveal certain truths to you possible because they are deeply private or be, because uh, the truth itself here is complex and maybe challenging here i feel like um, this energy or the of this card 
tells me that there are layers to uncover uh, here for some of you in their feelings and the dynamic between you and them. I'm also getting if this is a new person here with this high priestess that uh, um, you felt with this person or you're going to feel with this person here a sense of familiarity here even though this is someone that's very new into your life here you might have felt when you met this person or you're going to meet if this is someone new coming your life here uh, you're going to feel some sort of deja vu with this person you'll I feel this connection intuitively here could be even be that uh, uh, telepathic connection that you and this person are having as well here um could be that uh, maybe this person as i said uh, finds you to be someone that's very private very mysterious very closed off and this is causing them a lot of stress a lot of anxiety here for some of you um but yeah as i said these secrets could range from their uh, feelings for you to details about another relationship for others of you uh could be personal challenges maybe that this person might be facing at the moment here um oh my god i have a big fly into my room oops um but um i feel like uh they might also feel a, this deep sense uh, or deep connection with you that they're trying to understand maybe before revealing too much here. Um, I feel like these secrets could, um, could be their feelings here. Like this person could be going through these mental challenges here with that Nine of Swords and with the King of Swords here. I feel like... Uh, this person is doing their best to hide their true feelings, their inner turmoil for the majority of you. This with the secret lover and the lover affair. I feel like this is a message for um, some of you, not for everyone here. And maybe that's why you need to let this person go here. And for others of you, I feel like you're, you have this connection with someone totally new here. Um, your divine masculine here could be this person for others of you that you had as I said the secret affair with a love affair that they are wanting to come back into your life here uh, but um, I don't know I feel like there is so much beneath the surface that waits for you to discover here or maybe this person wants to discover about you here I don't know maybe they will eventually uh, feel safe enough to come and open up completely for some of you here with that high priestess uh, maybe they're a bit afraid of how you're going to re respond to whatever they to this difficult truth that they are having to show and present to you here is what i'm getting um, i feel like this person is just going through a lot here especially with this nine of swords that represents that mental anguish that this person is going through um whatever this person is, i feel like it's keeping secret away from you my pile number two it's causing them significant distress here like they're struggling with their inability to have you maybe uh to maybe if you're going through a separation with this person i feel like um this is causing them a lot of stress inner turmoil here anxieties uh, this unresolved situation is leading them to intense anxieties and frustration is what I'm getting here. Uh, so I feel like this nine of swords just revealed the depth of this person inner uh, turmoil here is what I'm getting. Excuse that fly, I should kick it out. It's so annoying. Um... But uh, yeah, I feel like their hidden truths, whatever whatever they're related to their feelings to you or other aspects of this person's life are just weighing heavily on this person's mind here. Um, they're going through this mental anguish here that they're experiencing. It's like a testament on how much they care and how, much, how deeply they're affected by this current state of your relationship for others of you is what I'm getting here. I feel like this person could be um, 
have this deep longing for you here a sense of regret here i'm also getting for some of you maybe this person has some sort of fears related to the secrecy or separation here between you and them i feel like they might be tormented by the thoughts of what could be or and their inability to express and resolve their feelings and this is causing them this emotional pain i feel like their mind is constantly occupied with the thoughts of you and the unresolved aspects of this relationship between you and them here uh could be that um they're thinking about you a lot especially at the night time here but yet with the king of swords they're just trying to uh, be all calm and collected like nothing happened like they act detached here uh, you won't even know that this person is actually suffering so much you will have no idea with that king of swords, the swords there you could be dealing with a libra here or aquarius uh, or gemini for some of you or maybe that's your zodiacal sign here but with the transform with the butterfly i see transformation in this person um that it's taking place uh, here could be that this person was even ruthless they were very harsh with their words they said some things that they might regret right now uh, maybe you already know some sort of um, difficult truth you found out from this person already and they were very harsh and very um, I don't know they weren't too nice with their words. They, I feel like this person regrets the fact that they hurt you here. But um, yeah, this King of Swords represents that um, intellect, clarity, uh, authority, uh, authoritative energy as well. I feel like even though this person, as I said, is losing their mind over this, uh, their feelings, over the situation with you here, uh, they're trying to remain the calm, collected, despite their suffering. They don't want you to, they don't want to show, I feel like, vulnerability and they're actively maybe seeking solutions as well with the King of Swords and trying to resolve the situation between you and them here. Um, this just uh, speaks of a person who is deeply rational and composed on the outside despite the turmoil uh, they feel on the inside as well here i feel like this person is experiencing these intense emotions mental anguish here but their approach to maintain a facade of calm and control at the same time here so they are just strategizing i feel like and seeking solutions to uh, the challenges that uh, you guys are facing or that they are facing here uh, while all of this trying to con con um, keep their composure here is what I'm getting uh, maybe um, I feel like they're ready to have a chat here with this uh, king of swords they're open to communication here um, Maybe they're even striving to be seen as, as strong and capable by you, not wanting to burden you with their vulnerab vulnerabilities as well. I feel like they could be someone that's very intellectual here um, and um, could be that you're um, very drawn to this person way of thinking or the way of their communicating i feel like this is someone that's very good with their words they are very charming here uh for some of you i'm getting that this person could have blue eyes here uh and all these butterflies speaks of transformation here a new beginning of that reconciliation that this person wanting to have but again that's how they feel uh, inside and on the outside they're not really revealing much not uh, showing much here towards you is what i'm getting here um now you have at the bottom of the deck here the page of swords so i'm getting that this person is keeping an eye on you here for sure um they're very curious about your well-being they're very vigilant they have a desire for this communication with you they want to give you some sort of truth here but they they find it very difficult with the nine of swords uh, to come towards you with that uh, truth here they might be even spying on you checking your social media they could be even observing you from afar here for some of you 
um, but they will reach out eventually is what I'm getting with this page of swords and um, when they will do it I feel like they will be very clear about their desires their intentions here um, so I'm getting that um, this person is intensely curious about you here my pile number two they are keeping a very close eye on your actions here trying to understand you better maybe uh, maybe they're preparing for the right moment to just uh, communicate with you as well for others of you I feel like um, they're eager to reach out to make their intentions known here they have some sort of desire to get to know you better to uh, maybe they are afraid that uh, with the high priestess for some of you that if they will come towards you and let you know how they feel about you that they are interested in you here they might be feeling that with this high priestess you are closed off and they might have to face this, the, the difficult truth of you not wanting them not um, not reciprocating their feelings here is what I'm getting could be that this person might have tried in the past to have a chat with you to uh, make their feelings known for some of you but you uh, maybe you they even wrote to you messages and you just ignore them uh, could be that you didn't uh, done anything for to get to get this person attention and this uh, put this person off in this um, stress and like oh my god what if uh, pile number two is nothing to me and they'll have to find out this difficult truth here uh, what if they are um they are in a third party situation and I need to let her go or let him go so yeah I feel like this is how they are feeling here uh, and that's why they are keeping an eye on you trying to find out if you are in another relationship for some of you what you're doing where you're spending your time with maybe um, trying to understand you better as I said here uh, but um, yeah they need to know more about you and clarify their own feelings uh, with this page of uh, swords is what i'm getting here um i feel like their observation uh, just stems from a deep interest and a desire to connect with you on a meaningful level for some of you this person i feel like they just values truth and clarity and wants to ensure that uh, they understand the situation fully before making a move here uh, I feel like for others of you, their observation are not just casual glances here. They are kind of paying close attention to details and trying to uh, kind of piece together a clearer picture about you, about your life here is what I'm getting. Uh, this could even include for some of you monitoring your social media, asking maybe mutual friends about you here for some of you or simply watching you closely when you're around here like they are trying to gather as much as um, as much information as they can in order to have this better understanding of how to approach you how to communicate uh, maybe their feelings for you for some of you here uh, let's see their next action here towards you my pal number two this person next action towards pile to here the chariot again more cancer energy they want to have success um they they will come towards you they are they are determined to make this uh, work here to work together with you they want to put in the effort is what i'm getting uh could be for some of you that you're actually working together oops with this person here three of wands maybe they're they've been waiting for um, some sort of messages from you here maybe they were waiting for you to reach out to them here with the three of cups i'm getting that this person wants to reconciliate so this could be your ex-partner here for some of you definitely with this ten of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck i see some sort of betrayal happen that happened here between you and this person here and they want to uh, come back into your life here is what i'm getting could be that uh 
for some of you maybe this person was in a relationship and this started between you and them as friends and they cashed up feelings towards you they never expected for this to happen this way uh, so that's why the connection have led to this ending between you and them I'm getting that you could be dealing also again as I said with the cancer here uh, you have strong cancer energy over this reading for some of you but uh, this tells me that um, they have determination they are very driven to come towards you and pursue you here um, this tells me that um, this person is determined to chase you they are focused on um, and ready to take this uh, action in order to win your heart as well is what I'm getting there next move I feel like with this chariot is going to be very bold assertive here showing this card just showing their commitment and determination to make this connection work here um, maybe this person is your divine masculine here could be your twin flame your soulmate here that they were trapped or they are trapped in a karmic relationship maybe for some of you but I feel like this person is going to um, have to face this difficult truth that the past connection it's not working for them anymore they are not um, feeling happy in that connection they are not satisfied they are not fulfilled there and uh, they will just uh, let go of that connection i feel like with the eight of pentacles here like this person is working hard to just let go of their past here to release something from their life is what i'm getting here um but i feel like this person is not going to give up easily on you here i'm getting that they have their uh, um, side set on you here and they're ready to overcome any obstacles in their way here i feel like this determination is fueled by this deep desire to be with you and this person is willing to take these bold steps to prove their dedication um so yeah uh, they are working hard on themselves on their uh this self-improvement is what i'm getting uh, possible they are even focusing on their material finances at the moment they are trying to gain some skills maybe they are focused with exams at their university at the moment uh, for some of you but either way with eight of pentacles i feel like uh, um, they are working hard on their uh, on themselves on uh, their circumstances here uh, in order to be worthy of you here my pile number two or be worthy of your love here is what i'm hearing um i feel like this person is just focused on growth and development and that's the next step that are going to take here regarding this connection uh they want to make this connection work by putting in the necessary effort is what i'm getting i feel like this person recognizes the value in the hard work as well and it's uh um, they are vigilantly working on themselves or uh, they want to work vigilantly on this connection here with you um, as I said they are trying to release past burdens whatever no longer serving them in order to have this emotional growth here or improve their uh, life circumstances to be a better partner for you here so I feel like their dedication and effort it's like a testament to how much they value this connection with you here now with this uh, three of wands here could be that uh, maybe for some of you this is someone that uh, you're either yeah with the eight of pentacles you're working on you met them on uh, at your work environment because you have the three of cups there as well so i'm seeing that um collaboration that you're doing with this person here with the three of wands i'm getting that they're living at a distance for some of you could be another country another city here uh, you even could have met this person online for some of you is what i'm getting maybe at work um through but they're not they're just working remote at the same company with as you are is what i'm getting and uh, you never had this face-to-face -face conversations with this person um only online but um the three of wands signifies looking ahead planning anticipation of future development so this tells me that um uh, this person might be living at a distance as i said but they're planning to reach out to you here they're looking forward to bridge the gap between you and them 
uh, I feel like they could be even exploring the possibilities of this relationship with you so I'm getting that for this person um, the distance is not a barrier here uh, they are thinking about the future and how they can bring you closer both physically and emotionally here is what I'm getting so they're planning to reach out and show this eagerness to move forward and explore uh, the potential of this connection here with you now with this three of uh, cups here this represents that uh, celebration that collaboration here that this person wants to have with you could be social connections maybe you met this person through a friend here uh, for some of you but I feel like this person could even be reaching out through a friendly gesture, through a friend, are asking your friends about them, the mutual friends about you, sorry. Uh, possible for some of you, I'm getting that they could be even be sending you a friend request uh, on um, social media here. But I feel like they want to create a joyful and harmonious connection with you. So you have here reconciliation, the three of cups is that... Uh, reconciliation uh, card as well so definitely I see here that this person wants to come in together with you here so I feel like this person sees potential in this connection here um, they feel very um, happy when they're around you with the three of cups they have a very in a good time uh, I feel like when they are around you here like this person could have fun could be uh, themselves is what i'm getting when you are not around they feel stressed uh, sad they're going through this uh, a lot of pain here so yeah um this person aims to build a strong foundation of friendship mutual enjoyment with you and their next move a move towards you i feel like it's going to involve bringing you to their social circle for some of you uh maybe they want to have this shared activity uh with you in order to deepen the bond between you and them here so yeah i know uh, Definitely this person at the moment feels betrayed, uh, feels hurt, they are in pain here. But uh, whatever happened, they want to have this new beginning here with you, my pile number two. Let's see what they wish to tell you. Before we are wrapping up this reading for you, my pile two. So what this person wishes to let you know or tell you here okay any other message okay and this one wanted to come out as well you have at the bottom of the deck my person you're the person i, I want to do life with so for some of you this person just uh, sees you as uh, the divine masculine maybe they're your divine masculine here if you're a female watching this if you're a male watching this this person sees you as being the divine masculine here so i still have hope that we will be together again so definitely i see an ex here uh, someone that you have a past a history with special the way i feel for you i never felt this way for anyone you are special i told you like even if this person could be for some of you in a third party situation they never expected to fall in love like the way they feel for you they never felt with anyone else that's why they're so driven to let this past connection behind um face the truth here or give some difficult truths maybe to the person they are dealing with at the moment in order to have this new beginning with you you also have attraction you are going you're going to like what you see when you meet when when you meet me because i'm exactly your type here so i feel like there is this attraction as i said for some of you could be that you never met this person face to face yet attention i'm not really into you but i do like the attention that you give me for some of you maybe uh, this is the reason that this person maybe if they're in a third party situation 
they just want to have fun from time to time here but that's specific uh, case for someone again finances i'm not ready for you yet because i'm not financially stable enough to be a good partner for you we see that eight of pentacles for some of you that this person is working on their finances here and you have i love you i want to tell you how much i adore you i love you i miss you but maybe they need to face this difficult truth and stop being so afraid time my feelings for you are intense i cannot deal with this i need some time here so maybe yeah that's why they're going through that mental anguish um maybe for some of you, this person with the ten of swords could be going through that dark night of the soul energy here especially if you're dealing with your twin flame maybe for others of you this is you that uh, you are already in a relationship with someone here and this someone else that uh, it's interested into you here and uh, they're not sure what to do here maybe they found out the truth that you're in a connection here with someone else and they're suffering because of it at the moment here is what i'm getting and um, they are trying to let you go here but yeah this was your reading my pile number two if this resonated with you just let me know in the comments down below leave a like consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one and thank you for staying until the end take care until next time bye hey there pile number three if you guys been drawn to this image or to this red jasper crystal today we are going to find out how your person is truly feeling about you uh, what's their next move towards uh, you or this connection what do they want to tell you what's going on here so yeah um let's see your message here my pile three you have the love message here uh with the fireworks i'm getting those uh celebrations here maybe a renewal something that is going to make you very happy it's going to fill your heart with joy here is what i'm getting could be um a reconciliation for some of you but with the love card i feel like this person uh feels this powerful bound uh, bond sorry between you and this per uh, and them here uh that just goes beyond the mere attraction here i feel like this person heartstrings are just tightly woven into yours and i'm getting that this connection between you and them uh feels almost magnetic here it's like feels like magic um, every interaction with you i feel like stirs deep emotions within this person and uh, they find it hard to imagine for some of your life without you here i'm getting that this person love is not just a fleeting feeling here is this steadfast devotion uh, i'm also getting that this person is ready to make this uh, commitment uh, into making you feel cherished and adored as well so expect for some of you um, this kind gestures maybe um, thoughtful surprises here or for others of you could even be those heartfelt uh, expressions of their love here so i feel like this person actions when it comes to um, how they feel towards you here is going to speak volumes here um i'm also getting that the depth of uh, their feelings for you is very profound they think about you constantly and yearn to be close to you as well here uh, I'm also getting that the ties that bind the two of you are very strong and this person feels this undeniable I'm getting uh, urge to deepen these connections could be emotionally two to two on the clock uh, spiritually I'm also getting physically for some of you with all this uh, build up energy that this person has this they need to release if you know what I mean here but uh, yeah i feel like this person it's a, could be that for some of you could be a new person a totally new person here so i'm getting that uh, uh, maybe they're in the process right now of falling uh, in love with you here or each day i feel like uh, this person affection for you just grows stronger and stronger here and they find themselves more and more captivated by your presence so yeah this person heart beats faster um, at the thought of you as well 
and um, I'm getting that uh, they are very excited uh, for the possibilities that lies ahead with you here. I'm also getting that this person love is pure at heart here and they see you through the eyes of love. Um, yeah, so this person, I'm getting that this person affection is not superficial, is this deep-seated emotion that makes them feel grateful for having you in their life as well. I'm also getting for some of you the uh, lyrics, I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. Um, I forgot the rest of it. I'll be your lover, I'll be everything that you need. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it was uh, Savage Garden with Truly Madly Deeply. So for some of you, maybe the uh, lyrics there have a significant message. Uh, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. But yeah, let's see what's going on here in this connection with this person for pile number three. My pile number three. You have intensity. Our connection is so intense that sometimes scares me. Okay, definitely. I felt it with the love card, to be honest. Anything else here for pile number three regarding that person? Okay. Access granted. Social media. Fake profile hiding. Uh, could be that. Um, I don't know. With the access grant, I feel like something is opening up between you and this person here they'll have access to you you'll have access to them maybe uh, for some of you you met this person through social media for others of you could be that this person uh, it's someone uh, that has a crush on it that you're asking about and they made this fake profile or they're hiding their feelings here um, you also have healing love oh that's so sweet this love will force you to heal all those parts of yourself you've been neglecting. You deserve a healthy love. So I feel that this love is going to be very healthy for a, uh, a majority of you here. And come together. Reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Definitely something powerful here. Uh, this bond that uh, you and this person are uh, feeling here for one another. So, as I was saying, I was seeing a reconciliation here for some of you. You'll have this spiritual union with this person. You guys are having this soul contract with one another. Could be your uh, soulmate, could be a twin flame. Something that is going to help you both to heal from the past relationships, uh, past wounds here. Also, you have on guard. Guards will be up... Uh, in this relationship it's okay to be cautious and take it slow but make an effort to trust a little more so i'm getting with this on guard here that uh, both of you because of the intensity that you're feeling for one another here this connection is just making you act cautious put your guards up you're like oh be okay i've been through so many faulty relationships and they never worked out it was super intense made me fall in love for this person and it never uh, led to anything here so I'm getting that this is not the case but I feel like it's triggering uh, your shadow world this connection you trigger one another here somehow so that's why maybe they are guarded you are guarded I don't know someone here is guarded could be both of you but yeah let's see how is this person here feels towards my pile number three here how the person truly feels for pile number three here how is your person truly feels about you okay so you have the knight of cups definitely i see that romantic uh, person in this uh, love magician and page of wands so this person wants to have a new beginning with you here or wants to have yeah i see the, the ten of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck here so this tells me that you're in separation from this person for majority of you here one of you felt betrayed and underneath it you have the star card like wow
um, definitely there is some healing that needs to be done here maybe with the ten of swords uh, you or this person just uh, got out of an unhealthy relationship a toxic relationship where they felt betrayed and uh, they felt in love with you uh, they felt this strong attraction towards you and um, you're you're bringing this person i feel like peace into their life you're bringing a lot of healing maybe your energy just draws to this per this person in with the butterfly i see transformation happening between you and them i'm getting here with this knight of cups here that um this person is really deeply in love with you here and i'm getting that um their uh, heart is like set on making you feel cherished and adored here um with the love card i just um again signifies that profound emotional attachment uh and with this knight of cups here it just brings a surge of romantic energy here so their feelings for you are both deep and passionate is what i'm getting here you could be dealing with uh, uh what's called uh, cancer pisces scorpio for some of you doesn't have to be but um I'm getting also that uh, this person is like filled with these romantic feelings for you. I'm getting that this uh, love that they're carrying is not just passion, um, passionate, but it's filled with emotions here with this Knight of Cups. Um, it's like uh, an active force that just drives them to express their affection maybe for some of you in these meaningful ways here so you might even notice from this person these uh, subtle signs gestures that will reveal their feelings to you such as maybe loving messages thoughtful gifts tender moments uh, shared with you here but yeah i feel like this knight of cups is just a symbol of uh, someone who wears their uh, heart on the sleeve here uh, so expect declarations of this uh, love, uh, maybe poetic words coming from this person here. Um, I don't know, a desire to make you feel adored. I'm getting that this person has towards you here. Uh, I'm getting that they're not afraid to show their emotions and will go out of their way uh, in order to let you know how much you mean to them is what I'm getting here, my pile three. I'm getting that in this person's eyes, you're like this ideal lover for them. They could even be fantasizing about a future with you that's going to be filled with love, adventure, shared dreams. So, yeah, this person really has these genuine uh, feelings towards you. And this you as their perfect match here. Someone who just completes them in every way is what I'm getting. Uh, but also this person has a lot of passion and they are, they will be very romantic here. Um, I'm getting that they are driven by this desire to create these beautiful, memorable experiences together with you here. So uh, I don't know whether it's this candlelight dinner or spontaneous adventure here or simply uh, heartfelt sorry, uh, conversations that they just want to fill your life with this moment of joy and love feel, uh, and love is what I'm getting here I'm also getting that um, um, this person is not just content with loving you from afar here especially if you guys are in a separation they are not okay with that uh, they want to have this reconciliation, this uh, union with you here. Um, could be that for some of you, this person even dreamt of you or you dreamt of them, them as well before you even met them. Like this person knows that this connection between the two of you is like something magical, something that was meant to happen, something that was out of the ordinary. I don't think that this person ever felt for anyone these strong feelings like they're feeling for you here. Um, so yeah, I feel like this person is ready to overcome any obstacles in order to be with you with this Knight of Cups here. Um, and this separation with the Ten of Wands, I feel like it's just uh, too much for this, this person. It's uh, just weighing this person heavily here. Um, they're being overwhelmed is what I'm getting by their feelings here. And it's like their feelings for you, it's consuming them. 
uh, we have the ones that represents the passion this person has for you here and the extent that they are going to go through just to uh, be with you just to um, be in union is what i'm getting here i'm getting that um i don't know they are carrying this heavy burden of desire and longing for you that it's becoming impossible to, for the, this person to just hold back any longer here. I'm getting that their emotions are reaching to a breaking point where they must express the love and passion for you, my pile three. Um, especially with this ten of swords here, it's like too much. The separation for this person is too much. They just want to heal this connection make peace just to let you know how they truly feel i'm also getting here that i don't know maybe you manifesting them they're manifesting you with the magician as well here but uh yeah this person is having this fiery passion for you that can no longer uh, be suppressed by them the weight of their emotions i feel like have become way too much to bear and they're driven by this overwhelming desire to be close to you and i'm getting that their feelings are so intense and they feel this urgent need to express their love physically and emotionally here as well so I feel like with this 10 of uh, ones here, could be a fire sign for some of you, could be an uh, Aries, Leo, Sag that you're dealing with, or maybe this is your zodiacal sign, doesn't have to be, but um, I feel like this 10 of ones just signifies that their desire for, is you, for you is all-consuming, they think about you constantly, and they're longing for, your, um, for you here. I feel like you just occupy this person's mind and heart is what I'm hearing. So uh, this desire just fuels their actions, starts making you the center of their world here. So um, I don't know, for, I'm getting that their love for you is both joy and a happy burden at the moment. They're willing to carry this way because of how deeply they care about you here. So this burden of love just shows their commitment, their dedication here. Um, that they are prepared to face any challenges just to be with you. So this separation from this person here, my pile three, I don't think it's going to last for much longer here because this person it's it's so burdened by the way they're feeling at the moment. It's like they're carrying this heavy load with them, and they're even close to the town, so they'll release it anytime so now is what i'm getting with this ten of wands as well i'm also getting with this ten of wands that uh this person here that you're asking about or thinking about like they're at this near breaking point here where they must release this pent-up energy like with the fireworks there the passion they feel towards you wow it's so intense here like, I feel like you're making this person stick hard <laughs> for some of you, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, I have, this person has so many pent up energies, emotions towards you here. I feel like the intensity of these feelings have just reached a level where they cannot keep them inside anymore. So I feel like you should expect here this powerful outpouring of love, passion as they finally reveal the depth of their heart here for some of you. Um, again, I'm getting that the separation for majority of you is too much. It's driving this person like crazy here. I'm getting that their emotions are driving them to take action here. Uh, they want to show you how much you mean to them and um, they all even have make these passionate gestures, half declarations. So yeah, their love is not just a feeling but this powerful force that is pushing this person uh, to make their desires known to you here. I don't know, could be that they are having these sleepless nights as well is what I'm getting. They're, that, uh, they're spending their time thinking about you here. Um, and this intense longing you just occupies their every moment here by thinking about you, yearning for you, uh, missing you here. So yeah, you're like the center of the world here is what I'm getting. And their love for you is so powerful that it has become a burden uh, that they just carrying at the moment. 
so yeah uh, i feel like um this romance here it's going to be something like a love story of uh, this epic romance is what i'm getting from this uh, reading here for you with these intense feelings that this person is just having for you here pile three yeah the love they're carrying for you is just too much way too much uh, now with this magician here this magician i feel like it just brings ex this exciting twist here to uh, to your reading here um it tells me that uh, your person here is like actively working to make their feelings known and bring you closer into their life here um they possess the willpower here to manifest their desires here um, to manifest you into their life maybe you've been manifesting this person into your life as well here but uh, i feel like they're keen on uh capturing your attention with this magician here and creating opportunities for the deeper connection here i'm also getting over like 10 to 30 days here you should expect some messages from this person your way here my pile three um so yeah in the next 10 to 30 days expect this significant movement and communication as they take these deliberate steps uh, towards you to reach out and express their emotions here is what i'm getting i don't think this person can stay much longer away from you could be a younger person that you're dealing with for some of you could be someone that's a very youthful at spirit um but um this person is not is not just passively in love with you they're actively manifesting your presence into their life the more they think about you i feel like the more the universe is going to draw the two of you together here i could be that you're dealing with someone that's very charmful they have a lot of resourceful uh, resources and um, i'm getting that they could be orchestrating situation where they can connect with you in some sort of way i'm getting that this person is determined to make you notice them and feel the depth of their emotions like i feel like this person has all the tools they need to just manifest you into their reality here. I feel like they are just gearing up to break the silence and communicate their feelings here. Uh, so maybe expect, expect this uh, heartfelt message again, surprise visit for some of you, or unexpected call from this person here as they planning to bridge the gap and let you know how they exactly fear here. So for others of you, I'm seeing that they are definitely trying to create uh, these opportunities in order to get closer to you here. Um, they might be planning sp this uh, special date for you here. They are just trying to find ways to be in your vicinity here, even by maybe for some of you, they're using their mutual friends that you're having here to facilitate a meeting between you and them. I don't know, I feel like this person, uh, creativity and determination are the play uh, here for you and uh, they're trying to make it the uh, impossible possible for you to meet, uh, for them to see you. I feel like... Uh, yeah look at it intensity or connection is so intense that sometimes scares this person here is what i'm getting so i feel like their every action it's designed to capture your attention pile three here uh they just want to stand out in your mind in your heart here they want you to uh think about them here like the way they're thinking about you um I don't know, they want you to be seen by you in a new different light is what I'm getting for some of you as well. I feel like their efforts are not just about winning you over but building a lasting connection uh, with you here that's going to be based on this uh, affection, mutual attraction is what I'm getting here as well. So yeah, also with this uh, page of ones though, um yeah what they want here what's going on with them they are looking forward to 
message you, to speak with you, to communicate with you, to talk with you here. Uh, I feel like this just, um, it's they have this electrifying um, connection with you here, um, energy towards you here, like they're this pulsating here with this enthusiasm and uh, unbridled pa passion for you that they're having here. So yeah, I feel like this person is just um, ardor of, of with um, the fire to see you, to communicate with you, to be in your vicinity here. Um, uh, they're planning to come towards you here to, um, I don't know, communicate something to you here, express their love, uh, sweep, sweep you off your feet here with the Knight of uh, Cups is what I'm getting. Um, but I don't know, I feel like this, this person's heart is just racing uh, with the thrill of this connection here for some of you. Mm, I don't think that, um, I don't know, could be that for some of you with the Page of Wands could be someone that's a bit shy here, even though they have all these feelings for you, all this burning energy, um, this passion, the love for you I feel like they could be a bit shy maybe that's why they're a bit hesitant trying to gather their courage to come towards you and let you know how they feel here but um, yeah I feel like um, they will uh, come towards you here with the magician page of wands with some sort of bold uh, declaration spontaneous gesture here I, I feel like they were they are going to be impulsive here um guided by the attraction they feel towards you here i don't know like you, their feelings are like akin to a fire flickering in the dark here is what i'm getting uh yeah with uh, this as i said with the ten of swords at the moment this person is in a lot of pain here uh they regret uh having this separation with you they're suffering over it uh this is b weighing heavy on them here and uh, with the star here they could be dreaming about you a lot they could be envisioning having this renewal this healing energy between the two of you here could be for some of you maybe this person as i said just closed up a relationship maybe you're the one that closed up a relationship and maybe they're a bit afraid to approach right now but uh, with the reconciliation here come together i feel like um this is more like a, a next year for majority of you here but with the star there you could be even this uh spiritual star seed maybe you could be a healer you could be very intuitive here um a psychic by yourself and i feel like this person can sense that it's like your energy your beautiful aura draws this person in here is what i'm getting maybe this person could be even see you as a star here uh, you could be even famous for some of you or maybe this person could be here but um yeah let's see what um what's their next action is going to be so for my pile number three what this person action is going to be here oh yeah they are taking the decision to come towards you and make uh, this relationship public like they will let everyone know that you are theirs uh, if you guys might have multiple sweaters, maybe multiple people that are just um, chasing you, or they want your attract your attention here. Maybe uh, you have multiple sweaters here. I feel like this person just gonna fight them all. Like they don't give up. They are determined to come and be victorious here into your life here. Like they, they are planning for the future with these two of ones here. They they are looking towards the future with you here. And um, yeah, but wow, this person has so much passion towards you. Like I see this burning flame from this person here with all the ones here. Could be again, you could for some of you could be delaying with a Gemini or Virgo here with the magician. Could be also, as I said. A lot of Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius for some of you here. But they want to have this 
give and take relationship with you with the six of pentacles a balanced also again expect some sort of gesture from this person sorry i didn't ask anything expect some uh, gesture from this person a gift here it could be that for some of you dealing with a fire sign definitely a leo so what this person next action it's going to be here yeah then they will come towards you with some sort of communication they will take you by surprise with the tower like you don't expect it here maybe for some of you, you even give up on this person here but yeah they they want to balance um the energy between you and them here why you're the nine of pentacles here is what i'm getting you're very abundant abundant very beautiful you have this amazing energy like so beautiful so uh, alluring is what i'm getting desirable this person who desires to have you here like i feel like they they want to be your wishing star here like make your wishes come through here definitely this person has lots of passion here could be that at the moment uh, this person is working on themselves or on their well-being here there is something that they need to release uh i see them working hard into releasing something here into working or maybe on their finances on their well-being they could be focusing on starting up uh, at the moment with the nine of pentacles their own business here um they want to be independent here they could be someone that's independent as well could be with the page uh, with the pentacles here taurus virgo capricorn for some of you that you're dealing with but um yeah with the page of pentacles definitely i see messages coming from this person here maybe they will approach you as a friend maybe this relationship for some of you started as a friend here they will that's the water this is what i'm getting here they're like trying to get into your life slowly but surely here uh so yeah with the tower definitely i i feel some kind of surprise that uh it's going to shake your world from this person it will fill your life here with love uh joy uh, excitement is what I'm getting uh, this person for some of you could even invite you to go travel with them somewhere but yeah I'm getting here that uh, this person is just their next move is going to be imbued with a sense of ambition here is what I'm getting first sight I'm getting that they're uh, with these two of ones here uh, looking to or seeking to expand their uh, horizon when it comes to your connection here so they want to wander on fourth uh, boldly in this connection with you maybe could be that uh, could be a new relationship for some of you but they want to venture forth in, forth into this uncharted territory with you here because they are driven by their fiery passion here and i'm getting that they're choosing you here with the six of wands and page of pentacles here so much intensity that this person is feeling towards you here but yeah this speaks of triumph recognition here so i feel like this person actions um i don't know they're going to be met by with applause here admiration you're going to admire the their next action here when they'll come towards you and sweep you off your feet with their romantic gestures you're going to have their admiration here is what i'm getting you're just going to love this person here um but yeah i feel like uh, their efforts here in the pursuing in pursuing you here uh it's going to be acknowledged by you and uh, i see celebrations here again we have the six of wands and the um, love card where it shows that celebration with the uh, uh, sparks into the sky i forgot the name of it right now but yeah um 
they want to have this connection with you here and I'm getting that they are uh, trying to ride, radiate with confidence. I see a bit of pride here that this person is taking in their next uh, next action towards you here. Um, they want to have victory here with you and they are determined to, to have it. I'm seeing that this person is someone that's very handsome as well here with the Six of Wands. Like, both of you are very attractive here. Now, with this um, Nine of Pentacles here, um, this person could be that. is someone that um, it's we used with the luxuries of life here. Um, they, um, they've been working hard to be where they are right now. Could be someone that's very well off as well for some of you. Um... But uh, I don't know, they like the comfort, it's what I'm getting. They find joy as well in the intimacy and the stability they're going to have with you, is what I'm getting, or that's what they want here uh, to have this stable connection with you, is what I'm getting. Um, also, uh, this tells me that you should be a bit patient here. Um, but they are they are going to perseverate here they want to nurture this relationship with you uh, in order to have this um, relationship blossom into this rare and precious like garden the way this looks here in the nine of pentacles is what i'm getting uh, but yeah uh, with the page of pentacles brings this uh, fresh perspective here uh, maybe they are thirsty to gain some knowledge about you as well here with uh, this page. Um, I feel like uh, this next uh, this person next actions are just infused with uh, curiosity, desire to have this growth with you here. Um, they are eager to learn and to adapt to your um, situation here to this relationship. Like they are eager to learn into how to make you happy here if maybe there are someone that's a bit inexperienced here with the pages but even so they're determined to just uh, make this connection work to please you to make you happy is what i'm hearing here i don't i'm getting that this person just uh, their gestures towards you are going to be marked by practicality and uh I don't, they have this sincere intention that I'm seeing coming from their side here in order to invest in the future with you here. In, uh, in order to have this lasting stability and mutual understanding with you in this uh, relationship here, I feel like you won't expect this with the tower card. Like, this will take you by surprise. Uh, this person next action here, you won't. Uh, I don't think you can even imagine it. You can't even dream of <laughs> Is what I'm hearing for some of you. Whatever their uh, next move towards you here, pile three, I feel like you you'll uh, have their admiration. Like uh, they, you're going to admire them for their uh, next gesture here towards you. You're going to love them here. Um, so yeah, let's see how they feel about you. What they want to tell you right now? What this person? Okay. Okay. Uh, you have at the bottom of the deck attraction. You're going to like what you see when you, we meet because I'm exactly your type here. So as I said, I feel like this person is very handsome here. Um, they're very beautiful. They are good looking. That's for sure here. Also, secret. There are so many feelings I want to share with you, but I'm shy about opening up what I told you. For some of you, this person is a bit shy here. Maybe, yeah, they're trying to find their courage to come towards you here. And special, the way I feel for you, I never felt this way for anyone. You are special here. This person, I, I told you they never met anyone like you here. This connection feels so magical for this person. Like, even for you, I feel like you never felt a connection like this before. So intense. 
addictions i have addictions i'm not good enough for you maybe they're uh, struggling here a bit they're thinking that um they're not good enough for you here maybe they have a bit of self-worth for some of you uh, maybe could be their addictions for others of you that are um, in the way of this connection at the moment you are also have invisible i don't really see you in a romantic way for some of you could be that this person just uh, i don't know i'm not getting that energy though maybe for some of you this person just uh, it's a player type could be uh, but i feel like that's a specific case here maybe this person was wearing or is wearing a false mask trying to sweep you off your feet because you're so beautiful and radiant here and they just want to release that pent-up energy but as i said i don't really feel that's the case here unless these three cards came together so i feel like it could be a situation for someone out there that uh, this person it's in a thirst party situation and you knew about it like third party i'm stuck in a third party situation and you knew it maybe that they, this was just a fling uh, but that specific message for someone out there and options i do like you and i a lot of other people too so it could be that this person is a player with the six on ones they love just the attention uh, that you're giving them and nothing much here so it could be that um, their addictions here for a a small part of people watching this maybe it's a special me message for someone out there but uh, yeah um this was your reading here my pile number three if you guys resonated with this reading uh let me know in the comments down below like the video consider subscribing and hopefully i'll see you next time bye